criminal investigation uh, working with Utah police in this particular incident. I have no further details. I do not know the content of the threat, uh, but suffice it to say, uh, we treat these kind of instances as serious crimes. We're investigating as such, and if the perpetrator of that is identified, that individual will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Again, that's, that's as much information as I have on it. Yes. not know the weapon uh, that Nancy Lanza was shot with. I, I simply don't know that. Uh, the Bushmaster was used, as was explained yesterday, uh, in the school in its entirety, and the handgun was used to take his own life. That's the trajectory of, of the shots and, and, and of all, all of the ammunition used in this, in this horrific crime. Uh, will be examined and, and thoroughly reported in the report. I don't have that information to, to be able to be able to speculate. That's correct. High capacity, multiple high capacity magazines. How many rounds do we have? Approximately 30 rounds per magazine. How many magazines? Several, but just numerous. Hundreds of bullets? Hundreds of bullets, yes. Are those 30 rounds per magazine the rifle, or are those also for the handgun? High capacity magazine for the rifle. All right, and multiple magazines for the rifle, and multiple magazines for both handguns. Lieutenant, is there any indication that the police have used their bodies to protect I, I don't. I, I don't want to state that. I'm, I'm sure that they, they did everything they could, but I, I don't want to get into that specific detail if I can at this time. Again, motive, as I, as I discussed earlier, that will come as we finish the investigation. We, we, we simply can't piecemeal it. We don't have a specific reason that we can stand here and say this occurred. Um, we will, and we are searching diligently and nonstop to attempt to answer that question. Did the target take his own life as police The timeline is being established by investigators, sir. Right? That's the best I could do with that. May we ask a point of clarification? You can, sir. We're still, we're still working with the uh, superintendent of schools to do what's best. Uh, obviously, it's an emotional time. Um, the, pl the plan right now is still up in the air. They're finalizing the plans, and we'll get that information out to you as soon as possible. Is it safe to say that the Utah schools are still As I said, it's still, still to be determined. Yeah. Do we know how many shots were fired yet, sir? That's impossible to say. Uh, it, it, there, we do know how many rounds we've recovered. We do know how many shell casings we've recovered. I don't have that information to, to publicly give out just yet. How many I can't, I, I'd be speculating and guessing. How many magazines were emptied? Numerous. Uh, again, that's that's all investigatory information that I'm not privy to. I, I simply don't have that to give you. Do you know how many have a gun range when you shot? Many. Seven many. Five. Hundreds. So you did not, you have plenty left. Hundreds. Have yes, sir. Hundreds of you have not used yet. Correct. I don't know that. I don't know that. No, the President of the United States is, is uh, attending uh, memorial service tonight. He is coming to uh, to the to the town of Newtown. What is the security access to the facility like for that? Uh, can the public take it off or can anybody else? Yeah, they, uh, again, we don't discuss the security for the President of the United States. Suffice it to say that uh, significant security will be in place, as is always the case when the President makes a visit anyway. No, sir. No, sir. No time. No the time frame has been uh, determined. Who's invited to the memorial? Yes, sir. Are you making progress on determining the location? Yes, certainly. Uh, it, we're we're pleased with the work that's been done so far. I'm hoping that 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 helps answer that question. We're pleased with the progress that we're making. This is a very long, tedious process, which I've stated. It's going to take many, many man hours, okay, to attempt to draw this picture together, to put this puzzle together. The minute we have it, our, our objective here is to make sure that you, uh, the members of the public, receive that information as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, but to state right now that we have a motive, 
or do we have a motive we're prepared to discuss publicly? It just cannot happen. We just do not have that information for public dissemination. No, I would, I would uh, again, I, I don't want to discuss the crime scene at all. Your ma'am? We did seize a great deal of evidence. Our detectives have uh, executed numerous search warrants in this case. Uh, we do not detail the content of what we seize in any criminal investigation. I can tell you that we were successful in seizing a great deal of evidence in this investigation. All that evidence, every stitch of it needs to be analyzed, and, and it will be, whether it's in our forensic laboratory or by specialists within our department or other departments as, as time goes on. We anticipate this is going to be the last discussion today with the president coming in, we've got a great deal on our plate. Um, if anything, if anything additional should surface between now and tomorrow morning, okay, we will post it on our website, on the state police website. But we do not anticipate anything of a public nature to arise, but should it arise, I would suggest check our website on a regular basis. Uh, we'll come back uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, uh, we'll be here by, we'll shoot for 9 o'clock. We want to keep you updated as much as we possibly can. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we'll have an idea as to uh, hopefully some of the school questions here in the community. Uh, we'll, we'll be in contact with the superintendent and, and hopefully some of the additional investigatory information we can provide, provide for you. All right, thank you. Good afternoon. Start staring at the Lieutenant Johnson, the Connecticut State Police. And the, the headline here is that for actually the first time, the police have now identified 20-year-old Adam Lanza as the shooter. They had not done that up to this press conference. And they say that he uh, was pronounced dead, ruled his death, ruled a suicide. They also finished the autopsy on his mother, Nancy uh, Lanza, whose death was ruled a, a homicide. The police also confirming that he showed up at the school on Friday and that the main weapon that he used to carry out this massacre was a Bushmaster assault-type weapon with multiple high-capacity magazines. He fired off many bullets. He had hundreds still on him that he hadn't yet fired off at the time that he pulled out one of the pistols that he had and killed himself. Heather Childers joins our coverage right now.